Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen O'Connor from Quilter 7 in Northbrook, Illinois, and I am the Opinionated Quilter. Today's episode, number 55, is a fast version of the Boston Commons. I know we've done a few. This will be my last, at least for a while. Last week, we announced a giveaway. In order to participate in the giveaway, you must like and comment on this video and be subscribed to my channel. What are we giving away? Drum roll, please. A $100 gift certificate to the store, as well as this beautiful 10 square pack from Robert Kaufman from Gustav Klimt. Check out these fabrics, absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure you'll be able to do something absolutely beautiful with this. So please enter in, you'll have 10 days to do so, and we will draw a name at random for the winner. Now, let's get to my opinion. Many times as I watch videos, I see bad techniques demonstrated for you. This one was particularly egregious, so I wanna point it out to you so that you don't get in bad habits. In this particular video, the presenter was squaring off a 10 inch square. She lined the ruler up on the left side of the square and went ahead and took her rotary cutter and came put her body all the way across and cut like this. That's dangerous. The correct way to square up a square if you're right-handed is to do it on the right-hand side of the square. You would line it up, line a line on your ruler on the bottom, assuming you know this is square. If you don't know this is square yet, you would fold it. But you come with your right hand over here and cut it. Now, in the event that you don't want to square up on the right and then flip your fabric to the left, the alternative is over cutting your first strip. So let's just say, for example, that you're cutting two inches. You would put your ruler on a little bit past the two inch line. Here's the two inch line. So if you want it to not have to flip, you just would cut and then you would trim this down to the correct size. But in any event, Please don't put your body to the opposite side of the fabric and cut down towards yourself. That's dangerous. You want to cut away from yourself. So let's get to today's episode. Before I get to the fast version of the Boston Commons, I wanted to hang for you the demonstration piece I had made. And I got many comments that said that my one of my strips was not aligned correctly and it was pieced correctly, but it was on the table shifted. So I wanted to show you the finished, still needs to be quilted, finished piece top to show you that everything does line up correctly. I think it's pretty cute. I see a tween liking this. So as soon as I can get it quilted, off to Project Linus. Now, let's get to the fast version. Quilters are the most generous people on the planet. If there's a tragedy or a child who needs comfort, quilters are there, whether it's Highland Park, Uvalde, or hospitals all across the country every day. And these kind of um, Boston Commons have lots of intersections, lots of small pieces, and they take quite a while to piece. If you are in a hurry and need something pieced up very quickly, this Boston Commons is the one for you. So here's my strip set. Fabric one, two, three, the center green, three, two, one. And in the quick version, it only takes two strip sets for the center, center row. Here's your center row strip set inserted with one green and another strip set. You make as many of these as you want. I made three for the center. 
the next row up is just what we did before. Take off one of the pieces and that will go in the upper corner and you continue on just like we have before. These pieces were cut at four and a half to finish to four as opposed to the smaller one here cut two to finish to one and a half. This pieced up super quick. Let's get to the specifics of the numbers so you can make this at home fast. The technique is exactly the same as before. For my fast, I call charity version, mine came out to 45 and a quarter by 56 and a half. To make this, I needed two and a half strip sets. They're cut at four and a half inches. So to make those strip sets of colors one, two, and three, you need 22 and a half inches. Now I'm thinking you're looking in your stash for this. So that's the amount of inches you need. But if you were at the store buying, I wouldn't get five eighths because that leaves you not one iota of wiggle room. You'd need want to go up to two thirds for 24 inches or, th or three quarters for 27 inches. The center and the setting triangles, which is my version is the green, you need 28 inches. Again, I'm picturing you looking in your stash for this. In the event that you are purchasing, you want a minimum of seven eighths of a yard. I would buy a yard if it were me. Now, the corner triangles, which you need two of, would be cut at four inches. And the side setting triangles, you need eight seven and a quarter inch squares cut twice on the diagonal because you need 32 of them. Now, if you don't want to do that last half an inch strip set, you can do just one center long strip. You can see I have three here. If you do one, you can get it from two strip sets. I have some aversion to square quilts. Not sure exactly where that came from, but I like rectangular quilts better. So I was happy to do the extra half of strip set. And I think this just turned out beautiful. I can see a teenager or maybe a tween for this one too, but it will make a fantastic charity quilt. And again, if you have not seen the earlier videos of how it's constructed, I suggest you go back and watch it because every strip that you make, when you take off a strip to a square to make it smaller, it's placed somewhere else. So there's very, very little waste. So that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Enter into our drawing. And until next time, happy sewing.